Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be germinating some Japanese maple seeds and I'm going to be trying a little experiment using the paper towel method to germinate them. Uh, it's not the method I normally use, normally I'll just plant them into some compost or uh, just a normal seed sowing way. Uh, but I wanted to do these ones indoors um, just as a bit of fun and I want to eventually plant them into my terrarium. So uh, I'll just flip the camera around, show you a couple of my seed grown maples from last year and then we'll get cracking with the little maple seed experiment okay so just wanted to show you these quickly before we start today's video so these are both grown from seed uh, the leaves have just finished uncurling and uh, they haven't hardened off yet so that one there is one year old, almost exactly. I started this last year. And this one here is also around about a year old, I believe. This one might be a little bit older. And I've also done some more experimenting, wiring this one into some interesting shapes. And I'll just show you some of the other ones that I've got. So down here, all the ones you can see without the tags, that one there has got a tag, so all these ones are grown from seed. And these ones are purchased from the shops, see it's got the tag on it there. And I've been trying all various different experiments with these, trying to shape them. Uh, eventually they're going to be bonsai, so... Uh, just thought I'd show you them. Anyway, so I'll flip the camera around and I'll take you back indoors. we make start on today's paper towel germinating maple seeds. Okay, so today I'm going to try and germinate just two of these Japanese maple seeds. So this is a tree they came off. This is a huge maple tree in my mum's garden. So I collected these seeds last autumn, about October, November. And I collected loads of them, so uh, I just left these outside in a sandwich bag, bag on the porch. And today I'm going to put two of them onto a paper towel in a little sealable tub. And we're going to try and germinate these. So I'm going to be keeping these somewhere nice and warm. And I'm going to give them some light, so indirect sunlight is ideal. You don't want them getting too hot in the tub. So we'll just leave them in there. They should germinate relatively quickly. And we'll get back to them as soon as they have germinated. So it shouldn't take too long. Okay, so this is about a week, week or so later now. And I had a quick peek earlier on and the seeds have just started to sprout. So you can see the little white roots sticking out there. So both of these have germinated successfully in here. Uh, like I said earlier, I've just been keeping them warm and I'm going to give them a little bit of indirect sunlight. Uh, as soon as we've planted them up, we'll put them somewhere nice and sunny. But for now, we don't want them getting too hot in the tub. Uh, if we put them in direct sun, they could get too hot. So uh, that's it for today. We'll get back to these in a few days. Okay, so this is about another three or four days later now. And you can see the leaves are just starting to break free from the seed casing. And the roots have got a lot longer. I'll just tuck them under the edge of the paper towel. Just so the roots have, don't dry out on the top. So what I think I'm going to do now is put these into these little pots I've got here. These are just seven centimetre little plant pots. So we're going to fill this up with a nice free draining sandy soil mix. So this is just ordinary multi-purpose compost mixed with some sandy grit. Uh, you can use horticultural grit or you can just buy some sharp sand uh, or decorative grit as long as you rinse it through to make sure there's no salt in it, it should be fine. 
so this is what we're going to plant these into so i'll just very gently take the seedling uh, the seed case just fell off on that one uh, you can help the seed case off you just pull it very gently or you can leave it on eventually it'll just fall off on its own so we'll just poke them in make sure the roots go down try and get the leaves to stay above the soil so that's the first one done there uh, we need to make sure these are well watered uh, we don't want them to dry out at all during the first few weeks or so until the roots have established so I'll get the second one planted in and see the seed casing is still attached to this one and I'm not going to pull it off yet so I'll just plant it in there like that just poke the root as far down as you can and try not to snap it so that's the second one in and I think to keep the humidity up uh, other than keep them well watered uh, I'm going to put a humidity dome over the top so I'll give them a good water just keep the soil moist don't let it dry out at all uh, as soon as they're established a bit you can let it dry out almost completely dry before you water them again So just be very gentle when you water them to begin with and uh, make sure all the compost is saturated so that's both of them watered now I'm going to leave these in indirect sunlight again not in the direct sun because uh, we might get some leaf scorch and I'm just going to place this little uh, little takeaway tub over the top and we'll get back to these again in a few more days. Okay, so this is about another week or so later now. And they've both got their leaves coming out. These are the seed leaves. And the leaves in the middle, tiny little leaves that you can see at the moment, will be the true Japanese maple leaves. And I've just put these little bamboo skewers in just to hold the tub slightly above so the leaves aren't touching the top of it so they seem to be doing well that one's got a little bit of scorch on the leaf as you can see uh, but it doesn't matter they should be fine so we'll get back to these again in a few more days I'll leave the tub on for now okay so this is about two or three days later now and you can see the true leaves have come out now. See this one's more red. And the other one's slightly greener colour. So they're from the same tree. So this is just natural variation that you get. Uh, this is a good thing about growing from seed. Uh, no two will be alike. Uh, it's a lot like with people. They will come out slightly different. Sometimes you can get really unique ones. I'm trying to get some good shots of the leaves there. You can see again the seed leaves are slightly scorched. Uh, but we'll leave the tub off now. We'll leave the humidity dome off from now on. And just make sure they're well watered. So they seem to be doing well. We'll leave them alone now and we'll get back to them in another few days okay so again this is about another week or so later you see they've grown quite a lot in these little tubs seem to be doing really well we've got one reddish one and one greenish red one so today i'm going to be planting these into my terrarium so i've just taken them out of the tubs really carefully see the roots there and the leaves and I'm going to plant these into this terrarium uh, if you want to see a separate video of me making this terrarium 
Uh, I'll try and leave a link below, uh, but if not, you can look through. And I've got a playlist for terrariums and insects. So that's the first one planted in there. Uh, this is the second one, the one that's more red. So it's got a bit more roots, this one as well. So I'm just going to plant them both next to each other into the terrarium. And the good thing about the terrarium is you can have it indoors. Uh, this one's got its own light at the top. Uh, these are deciduous trees, so I'm not sure how this is going to work during the winter. So there's them planted up. This is a couple of days after I planted them. The terrarium's back indoors. See, they're both settled in nicely in there. They seem to be perking up and looking healthy. So that's about all we we're going to do for now. I just wanted to show the germination process and planting out the little seedlings. So I'm going to make another separate video for uh, the rest of the maple seeds, actually growing them properly. This was just more experimental. So I hope you enjoyed this anyway. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Okay everyone, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, something a bit different and should be quite interesting. Um, so I've got lots of other Japanese maples growing from seed. You can see them down there. Uh, I won't show you them too much yet because they're going to be in a separate video. Uh, where we're going to be going through the whole process of planting them properly in some compost rather than the paper towel. But uh, like I said, today's video is just more of an experiment, so I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully they will do well in that terrarium. I'll keep you updated in the future anyway. So pretty soon there'll be another video out about Japanese maples growing from seed. So keep an eye out for that one. And also I've got lots of other little experiments going on. You can see the birches and the little bonsais behind me. All sorts, got little cuttings down there. Uh, so keep an eye out for my future videos. And if you enjoy them, please subscribe. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell to get notified. And give the video the thumbs up. And any questions or anything, feel free to leave a comment. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Hope you all have a great week.